Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, as promised, I'm going to be going over all the information from the third year anniversary. So, shout out to the Reddit, shout out to Mobile Man ASC for all the information over here. Now, I'm not going to go full in depth in, in this current video. I also haven't read everything that's available. I have been logging into the JP side daily. Um, I haven't been doing any of the missions or anything like that. I've literally just been doing my basic login so that way I can uh, get the dragon stones. And for, by the way, there's a lot of dragon stones to be gotten. Uh, a lot, a whole bunch of dragon stones, a whole bunch of other really cool items, Elder Kai's, Grand Elder Kai's, all that stuff. Uh, there's just a lot going on right now, so I'm super hyped about that. So we're just going to do a quick overview, and um, again, most of this stuff I have not read through as of yet, so this is going to be, a lot of this is going to be new for me as well. So if you haven't watched it yet, or if you don't know what's going on yet, at least this will be a good video for you. If you do know, well, sit back and enjoy while, you know, I experience it for the first time. So uh, general information, we have 27 events for third anniversary. Um, there's a whole bunch of information about that. We have Parunga missions. I think there is a wish as well. I saw something about a wish, which is going to be freaking pretty damn awesome. I don't know. I think it's just basic stuff like training items, awakening metals, or uh, potential orb stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. They have a full website dedicated to it. Uh, we had a new data download, which I know you're all probably aware of, which is a dual Dokkan Fest information of all the new cards that are available. I will be doing a team building guide on them. So if you're interested in that and you're new here, make sure to subscribe while I go over all that. It's for the Goku and Vegeta ones that that um, fuse into both the Vegito and the Gogeta. Very interesting, actually. I can't wait to take a look at the mechanics of that. Um, again, I, I, I was sick all last week, so if you guys didn't see my uh, video I uploaded yesterday, I was sick, and that's why I didn't have any videos all last week. Otherwise, I would have, as you all know, during the anniversaries, I usually crank out two to three videos a day. As soon as the information comes out, I try to get it to you. Um, but yeah, re rewards and compensation. It looks like we have a whole bunch of good stuff coming in. We had a whole bunch of compensation rewards as well. We have a whole bunch of anniversary coins. So we have a lot of that to go over. Uh, we have Dokkan Fest information. We have a four times uh, experience activated, which is really awesome. We reached, I guess, the 33.333 retweets. I'm assuming that's 33,000. Uh, so that's going to be, that's, I guess that's pretty cool. I guess we're going to get a whole bunch of rewards from that, or at least we got it already. Um, yeah, and then uh, we got number one app store for the JP side. So let's jump through it real quick. This is going to be for the event information. So we got a ticket gotcha, which I do know what we have. I have not been doing the, the, the actual dailies to get the extra tickets, which I really should have been doing. But I was, again, I was so out of it, man. I couldn't even, I couldn't even look at my phone screen. I had Bleach Brave Souls up most of the time because just because of the auto feature. I just set up my characters for auto and I just let them auto everything. Um, and a little bit off topic from Dokkan Battle, but uh, yeah, we have third year at a t ticket gotcha. So I do have those. I'm going to save at least one multi summon with you guys because I think I have enough for one multi summon. Uh, use 20 stand per day and grant you two tickets for missions. So make sure you grab those tickets. All Dokkan Fests are open, which is awesome. Um, SNS campaign one dragon stone per day for sending a tweet or a line message. So yes, I've been doing that. Uh, just because that's pretty simple. It's one dragon stone. Just go in there. You'll see the little Twitter option. Uh, make sure you have your Twitter account linked to it or a Twitter account linked to it. You guys won't see because I have a private account linked to it from Twitter because, you know, you never know. I w I'd rather play it safe. Uh, Dokkan stats. I guess this is something new. I don't know what this is. Um, but we'll let that load up over here. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of statistics for from the website, I guess, from Dokkan Battle uh, about everything that we have. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I like that. Um... We have login bonuses, three Dragonstone, one gacha ticket, three time coin, three battle armor, and various items per day. So that's really awesome. We're getting a heck of a lot of that. So um, I know a lot of you guys are excited about that. I am too. I've been logging in my dailies. Select Dokkan Fest. Uh, we'll get the fourth red Dragonstone, which is awesome. Um, at this point in the time, I mean, it's really up to you on who you want to get. They're all going to be really good units. Again, I think uh, the, the standings are pretty much the same. <coughs> um, full Power Freezer is probably still one of the best ones you can uh, select. If you don't have a World Tournament guy, Broly is, especially because he has that Extreme Z Awakening now. So Broly will probably be a really good unit. Um, it's up to you on how you want to do that, though. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku is also good because he has that, that Extreme Z Awakening now. Again, all up to you on who you want to choose. Personally, with the Red Dragon Stone, I would probably go with Full Power Freeze if you don't have any of the OG ones. Just because he was really amazing when he first came out. If he gets When he gets his Extreme Z Awakening, I feel like he's just going to be ridiculously OP. Um, premium select Dokkan Fest with purple Dragonstone. Um, I've been debating on this because I try as much as I can not to put any money in the uh, JP side of Dokkan Battle, but I've been thinking about purchasing the pack for the purple Dragonstone. Um, plus, you get a whole bunch of stones for it, so I might do that. Uh, 
I'll probably end up doing, if I do it, I'll do it this weekend. I'll do it on live stream. Well, not the actual purchase, but I'll, I'll do some summons with you guys on live stream this weekend. Uh, if that's the case, if I end up going down that route and purchasing it, I'll have to take a look and see what happens. I still have to do my taxes, so. <laughs> um, daily missions. Uh, we have 33 mission specials, part one, 25 missions, details below. Uh, third anniversary coins can be exchanged in the Baba Shop. You get coins from the login bonus. I'll go over that in a separate video as well. Um, there's a special event that you get Dragonstones and these uh, actual uh, medals if you want to go ahead and grab them. Uh, it's, it's like they do every single year for the anniversaries. You go, you do it, and you get a whole bunch of cool items and characters that you can be selected from the Baba Shop with these uh, medals. Typically, you go for the Super Saiyan God Goku or Super Saiyan Blue Goku uh, because he feeds into all the other ones. So that's typically what the, what the general past two years have been. So I haven't looked at the Baba Shop myself, but we'll look into that in the future. Special campaign, we're using stamina, we'll give rewards. Uh, Perungo wishes, details below. I guess we have a whole bunch of cool stuff over here. So, <laughs> there's a lot to go over. Um, all potential stations are open on the weekend. Secret character guaranteed to spawn, so that's awesome. Story event, um, battle on planet Namek. Special potential orbs to get STR Kid Gohan, 100% of this potential system. I was not aware of that. That actually looks freaking awesome. Um, full power Goku, six days to the edge of the galaxy. Special stage can be played once per day. You now get third anniversary coins and a lot of rank experience from the stage. All right, cool. Stamina refresh timer has been set to three minutes from five minutes. I hope that's permanent. I don't know if that's uh, going to be permanent or not. I'm going to have to go take a look at that. Uh, Twitter campaign, as, as always. Um, boss rush. Two new stages added to the boss rush. I'll have to take that on. Dragonstone sale. Double Dokun Fest with the new intelligence. Goku and Vegeta and physical Goku and Vegeta. Vegeta. Oh, that's cool. So I didn't realize that they were... Um, had angel versus non-angels, and that means they can be run together. I wasn't aware of that, so uh, that's pretty cool. And now that I know that, that actually makes it even more... Well, I'd be more willing to try and get those two units. Uh, personally, I'm, I'm mo mostly a global player, um, so I probably not gonna, I'm not definitely not going to go ham for those units. I really hope I do get one. Personally, I think I'm going to go for the Vegito one. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, not the Vegito, the physical one. And the reason why I would go for the physical one is because I currently don't have... A physical leader on my account and that's how i'm going to be playing it because i don't have the 120 lead go tanks i don't have the 120 cora on the jp side so if i can get this guy then i'd be pretty set for the physical unit leader um doken fest a new doken event to get the medals for the two of those lr units by the way they are lr units as all of you probably do know uh we have the brawly story event that returns we have the physical intelligence agility technique and strength gotcha that will give potential orbs and ssr elder kai as well um that's awesome. All right, heck yeah. 30% um, off Baba Shop, uh, four times experience in quest mode, and three daily missions a, a day. Um, I'm not going to go over all the mission rewards, so I'm going to go over all this in a separate video, so that way we can talk about just the mission rewards. It'll be a shorter video. Um, I went over that. Uh, that's the uh, Gohan event, I guess. Uh, that's the other one for the three stamina. I don't know if that's going to be permanent. Maybe it's just during the third year anniversary, but that's awesome. Um, yeah, third anniversary details. I'll go over that in a separate video as well. Perunga missions will be separate video. Uh, I don't want to go too too crazy because I'm already at like almost a 10 minute mark and there's so much more to go over. Uh, this is the JP data download. Uh, I'll go over all, well, most of these units in depth in their own video, but we'll talk about it right now. We have the LR Goku and Vegeta, um, both the physical and the intelligence one. We have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku intelligence. Um, the ultra rare kid Gohan STR, his Dokun variant. <coughs> uh, TUR physical Goku, which I believe that was a login bonus. Uh, the agility... Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Oh, you know, I saw someone say something about an STR Majin Vegeta. Uh, I need to find out if he is an AOE unit or not. I don't know. Uh, the Tech Goku SSR and the Physical Vegeta SSR. So that's all freaking awesome. I can't believe that the amount of stuff that they got. We also got Saiyan armor, huh? <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, here we go. Actually, I don't need to open them all up. So this is going to be Goku and Vegeta T-U-R-L-R. All right, cool. So Colossal Damage raises attack for one turn. Mega Colossal Damage. Uh, super Attack level 20 plus 30% to the Super Attack. That's awesome. Passive Attack and Defense plus 120% up the start of the turn. And for every Rainbow Orb obtained, you get another two key when the conditions are met to do a Patara Fusion. That's insane. And they have the Leader Ability, Patara Category Key plus 3, HP Attack plus 170, and Defense plus 130. And then they also give the intelligence type key plus three. That's why I want the physical one, because the physical one does the same thing. Uh, when they're LR, he does physical type key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90% on top of the fusion category. So that's going to be freaking phenomenal. I can't, that that's just insane. Plus their passive attack and defense plus 120 is just, they're broken. 
They are so broken. Apologize for the hiccup there. Um, my Colossal, 30%. Yep. Start of the turn. Uh, fight one is passed to the sixth turn. HP is below 50% to a fusion dance. That's cool. I like that. Then they turn into Gogeta. That's freaking so awesome. Um, what do they do, though? Uh, pass so one time HP recover to full and attacks effective against all types and attack and defense plus 150% of the start of the turn. For every rainbow key obtained, add another three key. That's insane. Um, does this, is this permanent though? That's what I want to know. Is this a permanent transformation once they meet the criteria for that? Uh, that would be awesome if it was. Anyway, Intelligent Super Saiyan 3 Goku aiming for a world beyond. It looks like we have a whole, that, that, that's just in itself. I'm not going to go over full in detail of everything else. I just really just want to go over those two. Uh, T-U-R Goku looks like we got him. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of cool stuff. So I'm going to do a full in-depth review of those. I just really want to talk about the LRs there. I did want to look at all the cards, but, uh, yeah, that's the, um, Vegito one. That's the uh, Gogeta. Heck yeah, th this is the, such an awesome unit. Uh, yeah, alright, cool. So that's everything. That's that. Oh, that's this is the Goku. The This is the one from King Kai's Planet, I believe. That is the Goku and Vegeta fight. Um, well, that had to have been from a movie because I don't remember Goku. Oh, wait, no, was that the. That, that was the fight prior, uh, during the Majin Buu arc. I think that's when Goku had, was an angel. Yeah, because Vegeta, Majin Vegeta form. Okay. Um, that's the Goku, that's the Vegeta, the Galakon versus Goku. Um, too bad. Oh, they did have the Kaioken effect there. That's awesome. Um, I didn't see the, the Majin Vegeta one. I want to take a look at the, the strength of Majin Vegeta because I have not seen him yet. I know people are talking about that. Is he an AOE unit? That's what I want to know. Let me know in the comments below if he's an AOE unit because I am not sure and I don't know how good these translations are going to be. So Dark Impact. One turn, attack rises sharply, given super, uh, so I'm assuming supreme damage. Change spinning balls to power, and acquisition of power, attack and defense plus. Okay, so he's it's not going to be an AoE, and he's not a new, so, but he's a nuker. So, I'm just changing, I don't know what spinning balls mean, maybe it means rainbow? Uh, let me know down in the comments below, I'll jump on to, when I do a full card review, I'll jump onto the wiki, which probably has better translations. Uh, third year anniversary awards. Look forward to starting now. Um, da, da, da. Five anniversary coins for compensation incoming. So that would have been in your login bonuses. Three Elder Kai's were in the gift box. Uh, gift box for a whole bunch of rewards. This was awesome. I did log in and I got all of this. That was phenomenal. I haven't used all these tickets yet. So I will be doing that. Um, doing those summons with you guys separately. But I used up all my Grand Elder Kai's on all the units that I had in there. So a lot of them are either either Super Attack 10 or 5 or something like that. Because, again, you know, I don't go too ham on this game. On the JP side, anyway. Um, regarding LR Doken Fest, looks like another case of the JP playing tricks. Space has the cards going active 130 at 9 p.m. EST. But in-game announcement says 2, 1, which event time zones are not possible. So basically, we have no clue when they're actually dropping. Well, it's 2-5 at the damn time I'm recording this, so we already know that they have been dropped, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, four times experience, which is pretty, you know, self-explanatory, is available, which is awesome. So I didn't actually realize that it was four times experience. I will be jumping on that, so that way I can get that increased. Uh, we had that. Uh, official banner announcement. Yep, and that's about it. JP was also number one in App Store. So yeah, that's about everything, guys. Thank you for your patience while I spoke. Um, I know I'm not as enthusiastic, and I don't know if you hear it in my voice, uh, I'm still a little bit congested. I also just woke up, so I'm still I'm still have this lingering cold. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be resting a lot this week. Um, I'm still working at everything, so I can't really do anything about that. But um, thank you for joining me here today, and thank you for your patience while I've been out sick. Um, I will be doing a lot more videos. I have a whole bunch, as you just saw, of everything I just talked about. I have a lot to cover. I'll be doing separate videos for almost every single piece of detail that I went over. And we haven't even hit the global side yet. This has just been a, uh, an event information overview for the JP side of Dokkan Battle. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.